Yo, what is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, it is morning, so that means it is time for a farm run, and today I will show you how to do a tree farm run. If you want to know how to do a herb farm run, do let me know in the comments, I can make a video about that as well. But we're gonna start it off right over here in the farming guild, then I will proceed to show you how I set up my bank to grab all the items that I need very quickly, and uh, we're gonna go through all the locations. Um, this will not be the fastest and the most efficient way, but this will be the way I do it, and it's super chill, super nice. Basically, Basically, let's jump right into it. So first things first, we start it in the farming guild. You can teleport here with the skills necklace or by teleporting to the fairy ring right over here in CIR. Um, but this is basically located in Zia. Um, however, it's very far away from anywhere. So just teleport here one way or another. Now, I always start my day off by completing the farming contracts and my contracts right now is actually a, a dragon fruit tree which is already grown right there. So I usually first thing uh, do firstly um, just plant all the trees in the farming guild and then I proceed to plant all the trees around the game. So the way you want to do this first off always have coins on you when you do your farm runs because that will always be helpful and then well for the most trees I can make I need coconuts as a payment and then I need po eight poison ivies for the calquat, and then I need eight potato cactus for the um, calastrus tree. I also need an axe. So that's how I start the day off. Let's just focus on completing what is in the guild to start off the day with. So there we go. We take three more. Uh, actually, we don't need that yet. Boom. We take an axe. We take a dragon fruit, a magic, um, a calastrus. Um, we don't need Calquat yet, we don't need Mahogany yet, and my Redwood is still growing. If the Redwood wasn't growing, I would take Redwood with 6 Dragon Fruit, that's the payment for that. And uh, obviously we already have all the payment for uh, the trees that are in the guild. So like that. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and quickly get all the trees going. However, this time around I'll start with the Dragon Fruit tree, and I'll just check it, and then I'll check the contract real quick. Um, if you're wondering about the, what I'm wearing, it is just graceful, and I have this uh, construction cape, and I'll show you what else I should you should take from the from the bank. So there we go, farming contract very quickly completed, and let's see what the next one is. Always, as I said, always do your contracts. It's just so worth it. You get nice money from it. It's beautiful. I didn't see what. Uh she said potato cacti all right I'll, I'll focus on that later let's just focus on completing the tree runs now all right so how i would usually start this is very very simple let me just boom 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 and boom all right so magic tree right down here south and a little bit left and we check the tree uh, obviously, if you're lower farming level, you just plant uh, the, the tree that you want. You're gonna need a rake, you're gonna need the tree sapling, and you plant whatever tree, then you pay for the patch, and uh, you plant the tree, and then you pay for, uh, well, 25 coconuts for the magic tree. Uh, obviously, if you don't know what tree you wanna uh, plant, always plant the best trees, in my opinion, so you can just look at the guide and see, okay, you trees if you're 60, maple trees if you're 45, and then for the fruit trees, it goes same. I recommend you to always plant the best ones you can. It is a money sink, you're gonna waste a little bit of money on it, but it is worth it because you get a lot of experience. All right, we're gonna proceed to check Kalashra's tree right here, and we're gonna chop it for some profit. If you don't know what this tree does, it gives you some uh, battle staffs once you fledge them. However, I just put Kalashra's barks in my bank. Um, so we're chopping this one down right now. Anytime now. Dude, I got a lot. Usually I get three. Holy shit. There we go. And then I'm gonna pay this. Plant that. Pay this. And there we go. Now we're gonna actually throw this in the bank. I'll check if I have some spirit seeds. I do not have them. If I had them, I would plant another spirit tree. However, I'm not gonna do that right now. I will still check it though. Free experience, 22k right there, actually 19k. And we're also gonna pick this dragon fruit. Um, I, I just picked them up because it's a payment for the redwoods. So we pick those up. There we go, we pay the Nikki. We plant the best tree that we can, we pay with the quads, uh, coconuts again. I always drop the empty pots and then I put this in the bank because I don't need it anymore and this. And now this is going to be for all the next trees outside of the farming guild. So if you don't have access to the farming guild, 
uh, this is the part of the video that you want to have. Okay, so I pay with coconuts for all my trees. If you don't pay with coconuts for all your trees, make sure you check what you pay with. Uh, and then I also take eight noted poison ivies, like that. And then we take five dragon fruit, five magic saplings, um, one colquat and three mahoganies. Um, and we that is it. And now we need just the teleportations. So royal seed pod. Um, teleport to the the teleport crystal to the Letia place and then I have all the teleports in my construction cape. If you have teleports in your bank take uh, house teleports if you don't have 99 construction or you can always take runes to teleport around that's also a possibility. I start my farming runs in um, this place I just teleport to crystal so if you don't know where we're located right now, we are located in, in Isafdar and here is the first um, the first fruit tree. So we check the health, we pick the dragon fruit. Obviously, the, if you have the lower tier three, that's perfectly fine. Um, if you don't know what you need, what you need to come to this place, I always recommend uh, checking Wikipedia. Or, uh, well, I think it is uh, you need to start the morning end part one. So just look up what quests you need to do to start the morning end part one um, by just clicking in your quest tab and clicking on morning end part part one and see what quests you need. So there we go. We pay her, and now I'm actually going to teleport to the Camelot. So this could be done faster, definitely. For example, if I had a portal nexus in my house I could teleport straight to um, straight to the fishing place however I teleport to Camelot and just run there however you can teleport straight to Catherby I think it teleports you right here uh, but uh, we, we just do a little bit of a running that is perfectly fine um, if you're wondering why I'm making a guide and I'm 92 farming I have 99 farming on my Iron Man as well so I've done a lot of farming, but on my main it's easier to do simply because, well, I have all the best trees and, uh, yeah, it's just what I do every single morning, basically. It's 7.30 a.m. right now, oh, and uh, that's probably a bit loud. That's my uh, wake-up call right there. I always wake up before my alarm, which is awesome, but I still have it as a backup so I don't oversleep. Anyways, we reach the tree, we check it, we pick it. Some people do not pick the fruit. I personally like to pick the fruit. And as you were able to see, you always can use the fruit on the tooled apricot, and he notes it for you. So why not? You know, it's a little bit of a profit extra. So why not do it? Uh, there we go. We now pay for that. And we plant another dragon fruit. And we pay. Okay, so here, if you don't have construction cape, run back to the ports and then teleport to Bremhaven. However, since I have construction cape, I can just teleport to Bremhaven and save myself uh, like a minute of running. And then uh, come to this patch right here. Um, so yeah, should be very, very simple. Uh, if you don't have the teleports perfectly fine, you can always, always use uh, redirection scrolls as well. Um, but you don't really need them. So there we go, we're picking this up right now. I'm gonna use this on the tool leprechaun. There we go, and now we're gonna pay Garth. We're gonna plant another one. We're gonna pay him again, and now we're gonna run south. Uh, but once again, I'll just quickly teleport to Brimhaven. It's gonna save me like 10 seconds. And now we run south for the Calquat tree. For this tree, you need eight poison ivies and uh, obviously a Calquat sapling. Uh, this tree is located right over here in Karamja. Um, so wait, where is it? Right over here, uh, farming patch Calquat. Um, you can also teleport with like other things, but I personally just like to run here. I think you can teleport with the uh, fairy ring CKR, uh, but it's really not needed. It's just about as much running, honestly. Or you could teleport to this uh, this village place with a scroll, but that would just be uh, more money spent for no real reason. Uh, okay, so we're once again picking up the culprit fruit. A lot of people don't do that, it's not necess necessary, I just click clear here, I don't pay this guy, I don't know why, you don't need anything, it just takes 3 seconds, and now we're gonna plant our Calquat, the fuck, there, there we go, plant our Calquat, we pay with our Poison Ivy, we use the Calquat on this guy, we drop these, and now we go for um, Royal Seed Pod. 
if you don't have royal seed pod you can always come here with the grand tree teleport uh, you can come here from grand exchange um, by using the tree spirit you're gonna need the three gnome stronghold and the gnome tree quests i think for that one uh, basically the to teleport around i always recommend having these quests completed uh, i'll try to put all of the things in the intro it's gonna be hard though uh, to really tell exactly what quest you should complete, but just to put you in perspective where these are located, uh, one uh, fruit tree right here and one, um, one tree patch right here, and we're in three gnome stronghold. So make your way here however best way possible for you. I would recommend you to do the quests first though. Uh, we use this here, we pay this man, we use the dragon fruit here. And we pay this man again, perfect. And now we run a little bit south. A little bit south left and here's gonna be a normal tree place we check this tree we pay this guy and we got a Hespori beautiful we're gonna kill Hespori for the end of this video when you do farmers you get a lot of these Hesporis man so you're never really gonna uh, like not have them and now we're gonna run back to the tree and we're gonna travel we're gonna click travel here to the three known village. And here, right now I'm walking usually, um, I don't really mind it myself. You can bring stamina if you really want, but I realistically only walk this part because then I teleport to house and have my pool. So I don't really think it's necessary. I walk for literally five seconds until I follow this guy and here I run again. So I don't really think it's necessary to bring like a stamp pot. Some people do it though, I don't, fuck that. Um, but here we go, we check again, we pick stuff up. This is where Graceful comes in handy. Here we go, we're picking this tree up now. Uh, we are located, I'll show you the map right now. If you don't have the quest completed, I guess the closest you can come is... I don't freaking know, man. I guess teleporting here and running up, but we're now in the three gnome stronghold place. Uh, we now pay the Gareth. And we put the dragon through. Okay, so here's what happens if you're... Clear at the same thing. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, and we put the dragon fruit here. And we pay. And we also, I also want to put these in here right now. And, uh, well, I clicked on a tree, so that's a little bit awkward. And then we teleport to house, and here's where I usually replenish my stamina. If you do not have this pool in the house, I guess you can always bring a stamp pot, right? Um, but from here, I go to, uh, you can go to Lumbridge, Falador, and Varrock, and Taverly. Those are the last locations that we, sh we need to go to. Um, so we're gonna go right uh, to this magic tree right now. So teleport Lumbridge, run all the way left. And here is a magic tree. We check health on this one. We pay Fayeth. Dude, these names are so weird. Holy shit. All right, we give the tree, we pay again, and now we teleport uh, back to POH. And now we go to the Falador. And here is like two places. I will teleport to Taverly with my cape, but if you don't have that teleport, you can always go here and then... Oh, what? You can always go uh, to the Falador Park and then run all the way to this tree. However, I will teleport to the house portal myself. Uh, or you can have a house in Taverly. If you do that, I guess it's uh, it also works out. Where the fuck did she go? There we go. We give the money to this girl and then we pay this. And uh, I already have the Elite Diaries completed, so I don't actually need to pay her. But if you don't, you pay her. And uh, now we go to Taverly. So, construction cape comes in handy here, but once again you can teleport to house if you have it in Taverly, or you can use redirection scroll on the house tablet and teleport here as well. Um, now we're running to the next patch. We check health on this magic tree. We pay the man. We use the sapling on the soil. We pay the man again, we teleport to Varok next. Uh, here is where I also like to do my daily. Uh, if you don't know, if you complete um, Varog Diaries, you can get your daily staffs. I usually do them while I do my farming runs. So I would come here during the farming run, I would claim my staffs. 
This guy's closing the freaking doors. Fuck off. <clears throat> we pay 840k for a discounted uh, prices of the staffs. I guess he's not closing the door, never mind. So we get uh, money right back with this. And uh, here is the final tree th from the normal run. <clears throat> I'm a little bit sick, so excuse my uh, sniffing. We pay this man. Now here... Oh my god, that voice crack. Oh my... Anyways, here, what you want to do is if you have Digside Pendant and Fossil Island unlocked, uh, you can teleport to the Fossil Island and plant these uh, great mahogany trees or tick trees, and they give a lot of experience. Um, so we go to the Fossil Island. Um, if you have Digside Pendant, obviously use that. If you don't have any of that, you can use the uh, boat. If you completed the quest, you know how to get here. Um, uh, so you go to the, well, I don't know why I got confused there, you go to the mushroom meadow and uh, you run all the way down. If you don't have these unlocked, all you need to do is uh, use this magic mush tree. So you basically run from the place, from the camp, all the way up here, and then you unlock that, that tree. Uh, but here you can see this is where a lot of experience is. I have some ultra compost stored for these trees. I don't ever pay for them, and they barely ever die. But look at this, 15k, 15k, 15k. That is such fast farming XP. You pay this girl, or this squirrel, you put the tree... And you put a compost. You pay this squirrel, compost, tree. You pay the last squirrel, tree, compost. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we just completed a tree farming run. If you want to go from here, if you're like an Iron Man, you can go north to the boat. Plant some seaweed in the thingy and do a seaweed after this. I always did that on my Iron Man. However, we're not yet done yet. There is one more thing we want to do, and that is kill a Haspori. So we're going to replenish our stats here. Teleport with ornate jewelry books back to farming guild. Uh, you can use skill necklace if that is your preferred choice. Um, and we're going to go to the bank, quickly gear up. So the way I gear up is I know that I really don't take any damage killing it uh, but if you are like new uh, just take an anti-pot I usually don't because I don't need it I take like one prayer pot one this I take a little bit of a gear I usually don't really even pay attention to it I just take some random stuff out like this that sounds like it can kill it and uh, I just grab some manta rays And there we go, we are ready to kill Hespori. Obviously, if you're a lower level, make sure you have full inventory of food, anti-poison, all that sort of things. I know for a fact I kill it with... Oh, and uh, we forgot the most needed thing, which is a Hespori seed itself. Oh, it's not even grown yet, never mind. So if the Hespori was grown, I would kill Hespori as well. I can make a separate video how to kill it, but honestly, it's very self-explanatory. You just kill the plants first, and that is honestly it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, it was uh, interesting to make, it took us 18 minutes, holy fuck, we're slow as fuck guys, but uh, realistically I would probably speed this up to like, it only took us 18 minutes because of intro and everything, but uh, th that's the way I do my farm runs every single morning, it is a nice little thing I like to do, so hopefully you guys uh, will start doing your farm runs as well, and if you don't, at least do your contracts. They really are worth it. So thank you very much for watching this video. Um, if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. I don't always upload RuneScape-only stuff here. I upload other games as well. Uh, but I feel like this is a suitable video to show to people. Have a good day, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.